Hi, I'm Layo Adegoke. Here's your channel's TV evening news recap for March the 29th, 2022. Many have been feared killed and several others kidnapped after terrorists attacked a train conveying passengers from Abuja to Kaduna on Monday night. Although both the police and Kaduna state government are yet to confirm the number of casualties in the attack, one of those who died include a medical doctor, Chinelo Megafu Mwado. Meanwhile, some victims of the train attack have been admitted to the 44 Military Hospital and the St. Gerald Hospital in Kaduna State. Amongst those injured is the former Deputy Governor of Zamfara State, Ibrahim Wakala. Kaduna State Governor Nasir Arufai has visited some of the victims at the hospital to extend his sympathy. Hours after the train attack, Vice President Yemi Oshibaja arrived in Kaduna State and was received by Governor El Rufai. The Chief of Defence Staff General Loki Irabo, Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya and Inspector General of Police Usman Al Kali Baba have also visited the scene of the attack. On the international scene, Russia has said it will radically reduce its military activity in northern Ukraine, including near the capital, Kyiv. Well, this comes after what it describes as meaningful talks in Istanbul were held between Russian and Ukrainian negotiators. And in sports, ahead of a crunch second leg playoff with Ghana, technical director of the Super Eagles, Augustin Egravon, says he is not under any pressure to qualify Nigeria for the World Cup. And that's the evening news recap. Visit channelstv.com for details on these stories and more. I'm Layo Adegoki. Thank you for watching.